Hello everybody. In this video, I'd like to show you a way for checking if if an object in in our system is locked or not. Usually, we use the common uh, work with object locks to know if an object is locked or not. But if you want to get that information, uh, you only have output to the screen or the printer. As you see, work up lock. I only can uh, set output to the printer or the screen. There is a table in the QSYS2 called Object Locked Info that can be used to know if an object is locked and you can get a lot of information of it. Let's uh, make an example and you will see it better. Uh, I have, for example, this table and I want to, to create a lock. So let's allocate it. Orders, CD, type file and I want to make an exclusive. Okay, now let's open SQL utility and let's see the table as I told you before. Um, uh, from QSYS2 the name of the table is object lock info and I, uh, I have to set here system object schema name of your schema and uh, system object name the name of the object in this case is uh, uh, customers, Cost, customers, I don't remember, orders, orders, uh, orders. Okay, let's execute it. Well, as you see, I have this all this information in this table and I can use it to know if the object is locked or not. As you see, I have here the name of the, the job, the scope, status, state, a lot of things, okay? It is the same as if you use this, option, lock, uh, orders, file. As you see, I have this information here. And using SQL, I have all this information. Okay, so it's a difference, a big difference. If I want to, well, if I want to deallocate the object, File, exclusive, okay, and I want to know what is now in that table. Okay, there's no information about uh, lock objects with that name and uh, that uh, library. Okay. Now, can I use this as an embedded SQL sentence in my RPG program? Of course, yes. And now let's create a simple example. Uh, let's go to uh, BS Code. And uh, let's create here a new file, SQL test for SQL update. Okay, let's... Uh, create a simple program 
and you will see how can I use uh, this table in our programs to see if an object is locked or not. Let's let me write some code. Okay, uh, I'm not going to use the cycle here. Name. Return. As always, when when I'm creating a program with SQL with embedded SQL, I'm now using I'm not using the commit control. Okay. Well, let's define uh, things here. Library uh, char. Uh, file job name okay and now let's see let's put here the name of the library the name of the object in this case is a file customers Okay, uh, orders, I, I think that it was orders. Now let's put the same thing here, select mm, job name. I don't want all the information. I only want to retrieve in this case, the, the job name, okay. into job name from this to object lock info okay where system object object schema is equals uh, library and system object name this equals to file and oops object type file okay and now if job name is different than banks is because the object is locked That's it. Um, let me modify the make file. Test for SQLP. Okay. And uh, I think, I don't know. Okay. I didn't remember if I was connected or not. Let me connect to the IBM I. Uh, oops, oops. Okay. Okay. And now let me um, make a deploy. Okay. Now let's go to the green screen and let's start at the box session. Four, uh, SQL test four, SQL test four. Okay. Call test SQL four. Uh, sorry, SQL test four. Okay. Uh, let's put here. Let's go here and let's see what I have in job name. Okay, as you see, the job name is uh, empty. And this, that is because the object is not locked. Okay, let's 
uh, allocated uh, orders will be one file for example and let's execute the program again okay let's go to job name let's see job name as you see this is the name of the job uh, where the where the the object is locked as you see is this okay so this is a great information uh, if you want to know uh, who is the one who is uh, locking the object okay okay so as you see it is a fantastic way for um, getting this information let's deallocate the object of file. so as you see the program works very well so now you can use this to check if an object is locked or not thanks for watching